gonna put some dirt in your eye. Now, tier lists are popular ways to sort movies, music, hell, even food, into rankings to tell how one thing stands against another similar product. I've done a few of these before. I think they're fun and easy, especially when you do a controversial one and people get angry. Now, MCU rankings and tier lists are very common, and towards the top of those lists, most people put Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Many still consider it their favorite MCU movie, and overall just one of the best ones in general. I mean, hell, check out the scores it has on Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic. It's one of the highest rated and best received Marvel movies ever, and you'd be hard pressed to find someone who has something negative to say about it. So what I wanted to do was go back and rewatch it and see why that is. Why is it 8 years later that this movie is still held up in high regard? Well, I know one thing is for certain, it was definitely elevated by the previous two Phase 2 movies, Thor The Dark World and Iron Iron Man 3, because Thor 2 was a bland slog, and Iron Man 3, though very well received, did lead to some vocal criticism by fans for the Mandarin twist. So coming off those two movies, The Winter Soldier looked like a masterpiece by comparison. I just wanted to mention that now because I have seen people bring it up and use it as a reason to why The Winter Soldier was very well received by fans and critics, and maybe there is some truth to that, but I'm more so interested on how the movie stands by itself and what it brought to the table. So without further ado, I'ma pop this bad boy in and see how she holds up. Yeah, yeah, there we go, get in there. Oh! Yeah, so, um, it's still pretty awesome. This movie definitely does a lot right, and it tweaked and changed several things to make it feel fresh, and to really make it feel different from your standard superhero fare. And the biggest thing that stood out to me was that the Russos wanted this to feel like a political thriller or a spy espionage film. And for the most part, they did a pretty good job. It had a good mystery in the beginning, and a consistent series of reveals and twists as it progressed to keep you guessing and to surprise you. And the way the plot unravels is pretty good for the most part. Only issue I really have with it is at the halfway point, there's a big info dump. The consciousness of Dr. Zola spends about five minutes revealing half of the mystery. It tells them what Project Insight is, how it's their secret weapon, how Hydra infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D. and killed those who were in their way, and it tells them what their big end goal is. It reveals a lot of information here, but there are still a few more threads left untangled to keep the twist and the plot going. But then of course for the last about 30-45 minutes, the movie just becomes Stop the Giant Airships Climax. But besides that, I think it does a pretty decent job overall of taking a superhero movie and adding a lot of elements and plot beats of a spy espionage political thriller. And to help really sell the story, it's played very straight. I was actually taken back when I noticed there was a solid 20 minutes without a random joke inserted. This was still phase 2 and the Whedon-esque quippy dialogue and humor wasn't in full effect yet. So here it knows when to be serious and when to have comedy. So there wasn't many occasions where the serious moment was ruined by an offhand joke. In fact there are several moments where it's just intense as hell. And sure there are a few jokes here and there like there's this running gag of Natasha recommending girls for Cap to ask out on a date. But besides that there weren't many moments where things had forced humor into it or jokes that made me cringe. For the most part it's actually pretty serious. And so by proxy, it helps you take the situation and the story more seriously. So the story and overall plot is pretty good. The serious and straightforward tone is really good. What also helps is that the action is pretty damn solid too. What's interesting is that a lot of the hand-to-hand -hand action scenes here will go on to get mimicked by other MCU movies, but not done as well. This was really the first MCU movie to have a pretty decently well choreographed hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes. A shame that years later they would basically copy and paste the way they fight here in every other MCU movie, but not as good. But here at the time, it was refreshing. But the sections I really enjoy the most are the set pieces where they're crashing and flipping cars. The Russos tried to shoot as many of these as practically as they could, so it looks really good on screen. The cars flipping, crashing, exploding, it's all pretty great, and the action is pretty creative in these parts. And there's one small thing that they used very well that really elevated it, and that was Cap's shield. He uses it and throws it around like a fucking indestructible thrisby. It bounces and ricochets all over the place, and it really spices up things. And it was done so well here that going forward, this is how the MCU would have him use his shield all the time. And Steve Rogers himself actually felt like a super soldier here. You actually get to see his strength and durability, and you go, oh, that's what a super soldier is like. Seriously, Cap is like a beast here. You know, also like how George St. Pierre is here as a bad guy on the ship. I'm not impressed by your performance, and I look forward to, to fight you in the near future. And Black Widow is actually really good here. This is really the first movie in the MCU where she had a decent amount of screen time and she actually felt like a person, not just a sexy kick-ass spy. She's really likable here and there are a few times where she's actually vulnerable, like her reaction to Nick Fury's death. And then later on when she's running away from the Winter Soldier, only to be shot, the look of fear in her face is priceless. And something this small goes a long way. Also, her and Cap work really well together. Really great chemistry there. So yeah, this movie actually made her a pretty decent and likable character. And I think they did a pretty decent job at introducing Falcon. The banter between him and Cap is pretty top-notch and doesn't feel awkward or forced. 
first and actually kind of funny. Although I will say that it is a little weird that Cap barely knows him, but he puts a lot of trust into him when he and Natasha are looking for a place to lay low. But I'll let it slide. Also, I love the ending of him flying around with his wings. It's pretty awesome stuff. So his inclusion was much appreciated. But what's a movie without a good antagonist? And that's where the Winter Soldier comes in. This dude is like the fucking Terminator. And every scene with him is just intense as hell. He's merciless and I love every scene with him. Now, granted, he's not in the movie the whole time. The big bad villain is revealed to be Alexander Pierce. And he's fine. He's serviceable. He mainly uses the Winter Soldier as a weapon, but he's not nearly as interesting if I'm being honest. But he gets the job done. But all the scenes with the Winter Soldier are great. And when it's revealed that it's Bucky and he has a relationship with Steve Rogers, it adds an extra layer to it all. So the Winter Soldier in this movie is definitely up there as one of my favorite MCU villains. But of course, later on, he did transition to being a hero. But in this movie in particular, he's fucking great. Also, the music is pretty good. I love the theme that comes on whenever the Winter Soldier is on screen. It's fucking intense. So, a quick recap for the reasons why the Winter Soldier is loved so far. You get a story that takes itself seriously, it's filled with a decent amount of mystery, intrigue, and twist, the humor isn't running rampant and ruining the tone and tension of scenes, the action is pretty damn good and fun as hell, and the Winter Soldier is a badass. That about cover it? Honestly, there's only like two negative things I can say. And the first one is very minor, and it usually comes up when you're talking about an older movie. It's just that some of the CGI doesn't hold up that well, usually exterior shots, like this ship. And when you have some really good looking practical effects, it makes stuff like this stand out even more. But the movie is over 8 years old, so it's not really a surprise that some of the CGI just isn't the best. It never took me out of the experience, but there are a few times where it was definitely noticeable. But by 2014 standards, it looks fine. And the only major complaint I have is the shaky cam. For some of these fight scenes, the frantic moving camera and quick cuts make things hard to see, and so you can't fully appreciate them. Now they don't do it for every scene, but they do it for many of them, and it does get a little distracting. And I will add, when you compare the fight scenes to stuff like in John Wick or The Equalizer that came out the same year, they aren't as impressive. But when you compare them to MCU fight scenes up to that point, they are definitely an improvement. Although most of the set pieces with the cars and explosions are still pretty great. So yeah, other than that, this movie holds up pretty well today. And it was definitely a game changer in the MCU. and felt very fresh and unique at the time. The serious tone, the interesting plot, the fun and creative action, the good character development. It was all really good in 2014, and most of it still holds up pretty well today. And I would say this is still easily a top tier MCU film, and probably one of the better solo MCU movies. In short, it's goaded with the sauce. And of course, as always, I asked you guys, what did you think of Captain America The Winter Soldier? And unsurprisingly, the vast majority said that it's definitely one of the best MCU films, with many placing it in their top three. And I can definitely see why. It's a pretty awesome film. So now, would you guys leave a comment and let me know, what do you think about Captain America The Winter Soldier? Is it as good as people say? Do you think it's the best MCU movie? And where would you rank in comparison to the other MCU films? And of course, if you enjoyed the video, go and drop a like on it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Stings, doesn't it? My balls! It's more than time. Have sex!